We recently had a few birthday parties here at the house and we had mixed generations. We had older people mixed with younger people and you can never get those two groups to agree on music. So what I did is printed a bunch of these. They're amplifiers for your phone and they work pretty good. And it's perfect because the older people could put their music on the phone and it would broadcast around them and then the younger people could have another one with their phone and their music and the two didn't really clash. So this was a handy little print I found on Thingiverse. I love the shape and it didn't need any supports. So I'll show you how I made this on today's Filament Friday. Here's the design that I decided to use. It's the iPhone 6 Plus amplifier by Thingiverse user Will Cert. And here's the design loaded into Simplify 3D. I'm going to print this on my FlashForge Dreamer in ABS. I'm going to use a medium setting, right extruder, and the infill percentage I'm going to set to 30% for this guy. Now for the layer height I'm going to do a 0.2, uh, 5 top and bottom layers, 8 perimeters, no skirt or brim, 30% fill like I mentioned, no supports, and temperature wise I'm going to go 225 degrees and uh, 30 degrees on the left extruder because I'm using, not using it, and 90 degrees on the bed. And once I had that, I click prepare to print and everything sliced perfectly. It took a few seconds in Simplify 3D, but it looked good. There was nothing to repair. There was no holes. This was a solid design. So uh, I like to slide the slider down just to see, see if you see any gaps or anything, but this one looked good. And it said six hours and 57 minutes and 29 meters of plastic. Now I screwed up the time lapse so I can't show it to you, but this is the machine that printed it, my FlashForge Dreamer. I tell you, it's become one of my favorite machines. Here's the finished print from the front, looks good. Here's a view from the side, and here's a view from the back. Here it is holding the iPhone 6 Plus, and here it is with an iPhone 5. But the real thing is, does it work? So let me show you. Now I know there are a ton of different phone amplifiers out there and this one probably isn't even the best. But what I liked about it was the design. The way it's shaped, the way the funnel is put together, the curve of the slot for holding the phone, the fact I can print it without supports. I mean it's just a really well designed part. And it's got other capabilities. When I put it on its side like this or like this. I see it as a huge funnel that I could stretch out and actually consolidate this down to a vacuum attachment so I could hook up my shop vac, maybe mount a bracket here. This could easily be a vacuum attachment for my wood lathe. Or I could use it next to my router when I'm routering and let this thing suck up the sawdust and chips while it's you know, being used on wood. So it's more than just a phone amplifier, it's just a great design. You'll probably see this in some future Filament Fridays. I printed this in ABS and it came out really good. No splitting, no warping. And I know a lot of people just don't like ABS because it is tougher to print. But I'll tell you what the main difference is. The printer you use. That FlashForge Dreamer, it is a fantastic printer. It really is a dream to use. I've thrown ABS, PTG, PLA, flexible, wood, conductive. Everything I throw at it, it prints and it's enclosed chamber helps. It's got a bed material that really holds prints. The touchscreen and the Wi-Fi that's included are nice features. I love that touchscreen. But overall, it just prints really good. And that's what helps make ABS prints print without splitting or warping. Now there are tricks I've learned. I had to learn the hard way because the DaVinci 1.0 that I started with, that's all it could print was ABS. I didn't have a choice. I mean, PLA is really easy to print relative to ABS. That's why just about any printer you buy is going to give you good results with PLA. There really is no bad PLA printer out there. Even the kits, you can tune them a little bit and get good PLA prints. To get a printer that can do ABS and PETG and Flex and all that, 
you're probably gonna have to do some modifications um, especially if you're gonna be under 500 bucks I'm not saying you can't do it but you're you're just gonna have to tweak a little bit so I know a lot of people ask me what printer do I recommend that's one I can actually recommend at eleven hundred dollars it's not cheap but it's a good printer so I got another self-addressed stamped envelope for some filament Friday stickers this guy right here this one comes from skip Gentile or gentle g-e-n-t-l-e I should know this because he's a patreon supporter I, I'm gonna go with Gentile but I need to ask skip how to properly pronounce his name sorry skip I should have checked um, he's left a little note it says hi Chuck finally got around to pledging to your patreon account yep thank you I really appreciate it I really do keep up the good work love your shows and learned a lot watching them that's what it's all about and you appreciate it and that's that means a lot it really does looking forward to the sticker you're getting more than one you're getting more stickers and many more weeks of your shows weeks of my shows I hope it's months or years you know something I don't know Skip now I crossed the 10k threshold a little while ago and as I said in my previous video I want to start giving back to the 3d printing community at least the YouTube community and help some of the channels that are less than 10k that I think deserve a little credit and they're channels I watch and so I'm gonna mention another one that I watch and maybe you guys check it out uh, Anthony at the hot end he's actually been a supporter of the channel he's uh, promoted me in, in many ways and I like some of the prints that he makes are fantastic I mean he did one in, in wood that he then stained I think it was a, a ship just incredible so there's definitely some good prints that he shows you on his channel so I recommend check out Anthony at the hot end and see what you think so that was another fun and practical print using a 3d printer and I hope you enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up and if you like what I'm doing please subscribe and I hope you recognize that I put out a video every Friday I don't miss I make it a schedule I make it a priority even when I'm traveling when I'm sick, when I'm on vacation, <laughs> I build up videos ahead of time just so I can make sure that there's Filament Friday here every Friday. And it's now been two years since I've been focused on YouTube and making videos. Two solid years of doing this. And that's why I asked for a dollar a month on Patreon. It's only 25 cents a video, so it's four, at least four per month. That's what the dollar does. It helps support this. And then I try to give you more blog posts and behind the scenes stuff on Patreon. But please consider supporting the channel so I can keep this going. I, I see other channels. They'll take you know vacation breaks or they'll have other things going on and they can't get a video out. Man, I am here every Friday. You can count on it. So consider supporting me on Patreon. I would appreciate it. So that's it for this week. I'll see you next time on Filament Friday.